Hi, my name is Barry Crompton. Today I'm going to show you around our Nissan Navara. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2.5 DCI Tecna double cab pickup. 2,488cc. 2013 on the 63 plate. Has done 94,034 miles. MOT until the 4th of the 2nd, 2022. And it was last serviced on the 16th of 4th, 2020. Um, Big chrome grille, front fogs. I'm not, it looks like it's got headlamp wash, but I'm not sure whether it has or not. I'll tell you what, let's, let's just clear that up now. Cause these days they, uh, they fit the same bumpers as the vehicles with headlamp wash when they haven't got it. Let's have a look, turn that on. That sounded like it was working. Absolutely. So, it's got a headlamp wash, um, the six spoke alloy wheels, the big flared wheel arches, chrome effect mirror backs, top tint on the screen, the big heavy duty roof bar system, and again, side bars, rear privacy glass, it's got the whatever it is, I'll call it a truckman top, but it may not be truckman, it might be something else. I'll look for a sign, see if I can find anything, but uh, it's, it's got the, the top on the back. So with mud flaps all round, it has the rear spoiler here. Let's say this privacy glass on the back tailgate. <laughs> the back of the pickup folds down. Now, to me, in this day and age, you would think there'd be perhaps a, a better design than that with perhaps rams on the side or something instead of just these straps because it is quite heavy um, the interior is lined with this heavy duty uh, kind of scuff guard the, the load cover and it's got um, these adjustable uh, slides at the side to secure your load as well um, the cab's been cleaned uh, to, to a, a kind of standard the back hasn't been cleaned yet but we're, we're so busy at the moment just haven't got time to do it so I'm sure Lance will get around to uh, clearing it out um, I've got to say if this if this tailgate wasn't so heavy you'd probably be able to carry a bigger load in it um, so step on the back anyway So we've got the really heavy duty uh, floor mats. It's uh, leather upholstery. Uh, the center panels are perforated leather. We've got three inertia reel belts in the back. The back seats fold forward as well. And uh, that's the, one of the belts that comes out of the back there. Rear center armrest. And you've also got the Isofix uh, rear child seat anchor points um, just at the back here. Okay, I'll just take you a ride in it. We have the uh, Nissan key there with a proper blade. Just stick it in drive. We've also here, it's just height adjustable steering wheel. Now, the service history, if I can just find it. We've actually got a book, which, as if you watch this channel, you'll know I like to see. And it's actually stamped as well. So here we are on the 29th of the 8th, 2014 at 12,316. Um, it was done by Nissan. Well, I like to see a nice service book when it's stamped, but I also like to see a stamp that's large enough to read. That, that helps. Um, so, 29th of the 8th, 2014 at 12,316 miles, uh, Bishop's Nissan. And then 9th of the 7th, 2015, 25,589 miles again, Bishop's Nissan. 11th of the 7th, 2016, 38,340 miles, uh, Bishop's Nissan. Where do we go over here now? 
uh, 30th of the 1st, 2017, 47,148 miles, Park Lane Motor Company. Uh, nice big stamp there, Park Lane, thank you very much, because I've struggled with that one. 1st of the 2nd, 2018, at 61,566, PC Car Care. 20th of the 5th, 2018, 74,280, PC Car Care. And 16th of the 4th, 2020, 87,183 miles PC car care and as I say it's done 94,034 miles so we'll just dispose of this and then I'll uh, take you for a ride and uh, actually one of the things it's got the old uh, well it's it's got two Bluetooth systems in try as I might I, I can't just think why that would be because I, I thought perhaps if it's the passenger then that the, you know that the passenger can speak through bluetooth but then the passenger can just pick his phone up anyhow it's the irish bluetooth system to be sure to be sure so it's got a parrot mki 9200 system and and the sat nav uh, video uh, and bluetooth system in the in, fitted as standard in the vehicle that works as well they both work i thought perhaps there's a fault on one but there isn't they both work that one plays music too uh, and you can stream audio through there as well so uh you you're covered yeah that's uh bluetooth redundancy system there now then it's uh it's quite quite warm today let's just switch we'll just switch the uh sat nav on so that that's the map there turn the radio down just turn the blower down because it's actually very warm today and I've got the aircon on we've only just stopped having snow well we, we might not have stopped yet and uh, it's boiling today so very very handy vehicle as, a, as I mentioned before it's not been uh, Lance had a rush job on so he, he couldn't uh, finish the vehicle and I wanted to get it videoed so that the back will be done there's a um, there's a noise on the vehicle a little tapping noise which makes me want to kill myself it's it's that annoying but I've already stopped and found it and if I open the door there it stops and what it is it's the metal on the sill panel on the on the scuff plate rattling on the underside of the door so if you can hear that on the video that'll be sorted and th these are just the th this is <laughs> you, you might find this hard to believe but this video is to sell the vehicle um, but John hates me going out in vehicles because when I when I come back I, I'm actually looking for faults because I want to find them before you do that's the idea of the test drive and to show you the vehicle and what it's got um, I've already noticed that the person who had this vehicle before um, he's had it serviced and he's never missed a service but uh, unfortunately it's ready for wipers now the, the wipers can go quite quickly especially in this weather so I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt of course a lot of people they uh, first time it, there's any ice or frost or so on they switch the wipers on to get rid of the, the ice before it's melted and it just ruins your wipers or alternatively de-icer I don't think that helps wipers blades either so as I say we'll give him the benefit of the doubt because it has got a great service history uh, normally I would recommend that anybody who drives around with defective wipers should be flogged but we'll, we'll, let, we'll let this guy off very handy vehicle room for five people and all the tools in the back or anything else that you want to carry the um, the, the truckman I, I call it a truckman top it's probably not a truckman top but um, it's a hard hard top over the pickup section so that, that keeps anything that you're carrying covered and dry and also it, it stops it being uh, just lifted out the back um, when you park up at night or it helps to prevent it, doesn't stop it totally. 
we've got the blue top tint. So air, air con, we've got heated seats down there. They're uh, never great turning circles on pickups and uh, in my mind it's it's for when you're going over rough ground if you've got kind of a a tight lock on a vehicle then the slightest bump turns the steering wheel a lot and that's the last thing you want when you're going over rough ground so it's uh, it's, it's the same reason that super tankers don't have sports steering wheels see what else we've got here so we've got source there with uh, that's for the Bluetooth hands-free and we've got cruise control over here and what looks like speed limiter so that's uh, I think that's cruise and set is down so we'll, we'll try that when we get on the motorway automatic so very handy Whenever I drive one of these, it always reminds me of a TV series with Lee Majors in, um, the Fall Guy. So uh, in America, pickups are the, are the, I think it's the F-150, it's the top selling vehicle in America. So I'm surprised pickups aren't even more popular over here. Because what happens in America usually happens here a few years later. But it, as I say, you can you can have your family in the, the vehicle during the week. No, if you work weekends, that is. You can have your family in the vehicle at weekends when you're off, and when you're working during the week, it's an ideal work vehicle as well. As we uh, found out before, it's got uh, headlamp wash as well, high pressure headlamp wash on the front. You always try to confuse me by fitting those little squares in the bumper but nothing behind but this this one actually does the front central armrest here the Nissan system's really good in there we've got uh, that's off the parrot system so they've really gone to town it's got the full system there for like iPod and so on Put that back in there and another couple of rattles in there that's that looks like wheel nuts a couple of spare ones there we just got up to 79 this has got the big um, heavy duty pattern tires on so it's not going to be the best on the motorway but it's, it's going to get you off a muddy field. We're doing 70 now. Two thousand one hundred revs. Pretty quiet actually, and I was expecting a lot more noise from the roof bars, but you, you can't hear any. Or very little anyway. There's not a whole lot of uh, noise from the tyres again, which, which I'd expect, but you, you can feel the you can feel the tyres through the steering wheel. Down here you've got your four wheel drive controls, we're in two wheel drive at the moment. You've got four high, turn a bit further around, then four low. And you can also, just there, knock the selector across and you can change down and change up. Electric window switches just here on the driver's side but it, it's, seats are nice and comfy and they're also electrically adjustable so that's uh, let's just move in the backrest there I think there's a power socket in there as well yeah power socket and uh, it's a it's a very very good um, well specified 
going to say car, but you took your mountain bikes in the back, any hobbies, any fishing, and, and whatever. Um, we, we had a car in a few uh, months ago, and it had been in a couple of days when I went to move it. And I was on my phone when I was opening the door, and I thought there was somebody in the vehicle jumping out to get me and it had belonged to a, a chap who worked in a fishing shop and he'd uh, he dropped a bucket of maggots in the vehicle he thought he'd got them all out but he hadn't and there must have been a million blue bottles <laughs> so you can drop what you want in the back of this <laughs> and then whatever it is he's not going to get into the, the cabin so it's a, it's a real, it is a handy vehicle. The roof bar carrier system on top of the cab and also on the, the hard top. As I say, the, uh, they're never going to be the best at going round corners that he's in. And, a lot of steering angle input really to go around bends. Also the the tire wall is is quite deep as well so um, at, at speed you've, you've kind of got to allow for a little bit of flexing on those which means you can actually start turning the steering wheel before you get into the corner. behind us actually I just want to I'll just pull up here Oh, ah yes, that's it. I, I thought it would have uh, power folding door mirrors, which it has. And we'll just check the steering. Through the chicane up here. Let's say the weight of the vehicle and the walls of the tyres. There you go. Whee. <laughs> you can make it. You can make it steer from the tyres, but there we go. Oh. There we go. We're already turning back before you've got to where you want to be. got a nice easy sat nav system bluetooth system as i say we'll stream audio and i'll show you how to do that when we get back to the garage if you want to know how to operate the mki 9200 bluetooth parrot system then i've already got a video on the on my channel which explains how to do that but i think that'll probably just be a backup system Good seating position, nice high driving position so you can see over the the hedges. And again, there we go. Just, uh, so handy vehicle, be, be ideal for work. Um, a friend of mine runs a similar vehicle, got gardening business chucks everything in the back and it's still tidy enough to uh, drive around or go out in. Very nice. So we've, uh, I'll finish the test drive there. 
we've got some uh, again we've got some great vehicles coming in been really really busy um, got an Audi SQ5 to video um, just got an 18 plate transit van in today what else we've got an old Honda CRV um, and hopefully we'll have some more Land Rover stroke Range Rovers which we like and we do very well on So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video.